Alrighty guys, we are back again for another video and for today's video we are doing a bit of interior and small bit of exterior um, changes to the car. So you can see I'm out here at the moment so I'm not actually in my driveway. Um, funny story, the battery actually died for the car so I had to just start it up and let the engine run a little bit. Um, so I had to just take it around the block just to kind of charge it up. Um, it's just been sitting in the driveway all day and then the battery just unfortunately dies for some reason. So for that reason, I just had to bring it out a little bit, get the battery um, going and all, so that way it doesn't just keep on dying on me. Um, so for today's video, one of my problems with this kind of interior is definitely my cluster. So if you have a look at that, it's just throwing up random signs at me. So if I, let's say if I go into first gear, look at that, it just trips the hell out, which is, Pretty damn standard in these cars. A lot of people do experience that sort of problem with this car, so it is something that's pretty typical. So that, and also I do want to change this boost gauge over here because it looks pretty ratchet. Like, it's got like, it's got tape and everything holding it. It's just tripping out. It's got no lid on it as well, so there's no lid, so I can be like, oh wow, 20 psi. Yeah, there's no glass on that, so I'm gonna change that around. I did actually buy one a little bit of time ago. Um, so I can change it around with that. Also another one is the head unit. So I actually recently just got this head unit. Um, got all my the wires and everything all cleaned up, but as you can see, it doesn't sit in here properly. So I've actually got um, the correct holders and everything for it. So another one for the outside. One big issue, which is, it's actually pretty embarrassing. Let me show you guys actually. So the wipers for this car is actually pretty cooked. Let me show you guys exactly what I mean. Let me just, let me just quickly pop this off. So what I need to do is because, because the wipers, they just full trip out as soon as you, um. so right now, if you have a look, right, it doesn't work here. So if, if I try to, the wipers just don't work. But the rear one, if I do turn that one on, the rear one does work. That sounds, that sounds so bad. Ah, that sounds real bad. So yeah, the wipers are cooked. Um, and then if I do plug this, so if I have a 10 amp over here and I plug this over here, just in the fuse, you'll start to see it work. So, now it's working. And if I do try to change the speed, it does work. Everything works except for when you try to turn it off. It just won't turn off. Like, it, like and look at that, the, oh, that thing is, it's all broken and everything now. It makes stupid noises. The back one, as you can see, that still works. Um, so something, let me, let me tip all this out. It's just annoying now. Yep, time it right, there we go. So basically right now, at the moment, if it does rain, I have to plug this in and out. I have to take it out just to, um, just so I can get the wipers working. So um, I do actually have a couple of things to change in this car today, so I do have um, a boost gauge which I bought a little bit of time ago, so I've actually bought this one from Super Cheap Auto. I just never had the chance to use it. Um, I did just open it the other day just to read the instructions in all the case or something I have to do. But um, with that one, I'll try that out today and see how that one goes, see if it fits on the vehicle. Um, with the wipers, so I've got a couple of things. So for the wipers, I did have, I do actually have a new one, so I've picked this one up. This is another wiper stalk. Um, so one of the main issues that it might be the wiper stalk or it might be um, the actual or it might actually be the wiper module which is this one over here is a module so this one here is out of the R33 sedan which they, which is a four door they did say it's the same so it should still be able to fit uh, but look we, we can't promise anything let's hope and this work hope it works out um, and last but not least, I've got another cluster over here as well. So this is another cluster for the GTST. So this model, as you can see, it was there just tripping out. So you can see this is another one for it. So, so with these parts, I'm not overly confident they're going to work only because these cars are like 30 years old. And when you buy it off the buy, they're not even 100% sure if it's going to work. They're like, yeah, it worked on my last car. Yeah, I pulled it out of this car, it should work. So no promises today, today could be successful, it could be unsuccessful, we don't know what we're in for yet, but let's just find out, hopefully, let's pray that we do, it does work because there's no way I'm going to walk around for 10 m where is it, there's no way I'm going to be driving around with this thing and every time it rains, I've got to plug it in just to get my wipers working, but hopefully there is someone out there that can actually fix it for me, if that's not the case, if it doesn't work, but let's see how we go, so we've got 
um, the cluster to put on today. We've got the regulator try to see if that works, if that tries to stop the wipers from going all crazy. And we've also got another wiper stalk. So let's see how we go with that. Um, with that as well, we'll just change the wipers over. So I've got the rear ones and the front ones to change. And then I've also got the bracket mount mounts for this car as well because the previous owner's just completely ripped everything out. This doesn't even sit properly because he's just ripped everything out, didn't do it properly. Um, but hopefully those stands actually do hold this head unit up and has it sitting in place properly because um, hopefully it does work. One thing about this car as well, the speakers don't even work. The speakers don't even work. I mean, only one works, which is a front left one. So eventually we're gonna have to get someone to come out and um, actually wire up all my speakers because I don't wanna do it because, yeah, I don't really touch electrical stuff. Otherwise I might start a fire. Um, I'm not qualified to touch wires, all right? So I'm not gonna do that. So let me try and show you guys an example. I'll try to put the radio on. So you can see it's only coming from one speaker. No, no noise from here. And the back ones, they're not even plugged in at all. So that's not even gonna make any sort of noise. So we've only got one speaker at the moment. So all we'll do is hopefully the battery's all warmed up now. So we'll take the car home, park it in the driveway, and we'll straight away get to work and start getting all these things sorted. Hopefully it doesn't rain today. The clouds are coming out. So hopefully it doesn't rain. Hopefully I can get everything all sorted before the rain comes. Um, so yeah, let's drive back home and let's get it. One other thing as well, I am driving my home, but I cannot boost it, guys. I wish I could, but we're a little bit low on fuel, so the car, um, the Haltech ECU has just put itself into a limp mode. Um, so I can't give you guys any cheeky boost or anything like that today. So sorry, we have to just drive home like normal civilians, all right? Just remember guys, an energy drink a day keeps the heart rate okay. I think someone said that. It probably just me, but it keeps you right, it keeps the doctors away as well. So that's where we're up to now. So we've removed um, the center part out and then we've also taken out the top cover part. Now we're easily able to just get to the cluster. So there's just one, two, three screws left and we'll pull those out. We'll be able to get that new one straight in. So let's get that part out. It's out now, so we've got that out. Um, so here it is, that's the cluster there. Had a bit of trouble getting this last one out, but that's all out of the way now. So everything's just gonna be all plug and play. All I have to do is just plug it back in and it'll be all back to working again. So, so what we'll do is because this one over here is a new one that we're going to add on and it just has that one little crack over here. Um, I know it's not that big deal, not much of a big deal, but I'm going to take that off with this one over here. So we'll remove that off and then we'll place um, that, that cover over here. So just that cover and swap the covers around. I don't know if that made sense, but you'll see what I mean. Right, so that's off now. So this one over here is the one with the crack on it. So that's got the crack. I mean, it looks pretty damn cool not having the um, case on it and everything. You can actually literally touch it and it'll move, but we can't do it like that. We're gonna just put the cover back on it, the one without the crack on it, because I think I might just have OCD or something. I don't know, but it's the smallest crack, but it's annoying me. So like I said, again, I'm not sure if the cluster works or not. This person said they, they pulled it out of a car that was wrecking. So they're not even 100% confident. When someone's not confident, that usually means it probably doesn't work. So one way to find out, we're going to put this together. We're going to change the boost gauge as well. We're going to put everything back together. And then at the end, we'll find out if it works or not. And let's just hope for the best and pray it actually works. Right, so that's the cluster back in position. So now we're going to just put the screws back on and um, that's going to hold in nice and tight. Actually, you know what? Let's just quickly try it. Let's, 
let's just get it out of the way now, see if it works or not. Moment of truth, guys. Fingers crossed. Ah, oh. <laughs> even worse. Oh, that's bad. That's the same thing, man. Right now, you're probably thinking what I'm thinking, and I don't know what I'm thinking anymore because, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I have nothing to say guys, it, that's one, that's one that out of three things I think we're doing today, that's one that so far failed, let's hope the others don't fail us guys, let's pray the rest don't fail because now it's just doing the exact same thing, that's why I changed it but it is what it is guys, you know, sometimes you got to try it out, um, I knew from the start it probably wasn't going to work because this guy did not sound that overly, overly confident, uh, but it is a major issue guys, so a lot of these skylines, um, their RPMs are always never working. It just always plays around, so it always just trips out. And that's something that's very normal in all of these cars. That's why they're always selling these clusters. But yeah, that's pretty retarded. Right, so we failed one. Now let's try number two, guys. So all we gonna do is get this out now. So let's come out, so what we'll do is just unplug all these cables here, so let's unplug this out. So this is just a Sony head unit that I recently purchased, so we're going to try to use those brackets onto this one over here and try and mount it up here so then the head unit can sit properly and flush with the center console let's see if this time something that i got actually works all right so my gopro has left the chat so it's a little bit hard to actually get some inside footage so i do believe these brackets over here you just have to take these off and we just have to replace it with these brackets over here which will come onto here and i'll actually be able to stand up inside of the um hook onto where the air conditioning controls are so we'll just take this part off put these on we'll see if that all fits Hopefully by the time I'm done that the GoPro is back in the chat again because it makes it a lot easier recording inside, but let's try that out. Right, so it should look like that now. So that's on this part here will come up and I'll go into where the air conditioning controls are. And then this part over here will be hooked on at the bottom. So that's all hooked on now. That's the correct bracket. And then we've also got this side here, which we're just going to change over to the same one so that they both look the same. So let's change that over. Right, so those are on now. So let's see how it sits inside. Right, so let's see how that looks inside now. So I'll sit on this side here. Right, so let's see how that fitting goes. So it should just get an idea. It should just line up on these spots here. So let's go in. Perfect. I think it'll line up. All I've got to do is just plug everything in so that way all the wires can be out of the way as well. So once that plugs in, I'm just going to go full send and just put it straight in. That's straight on. And then this part here, straight on as well. And this cable over here is just for the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, so I'll just push that through and bring it out the other side, so that way it's out of the way. Right. So that's out of the way, USB cables here, it's just fed it through the other side. Oh, look at that. Isn't that just perfect? Look at that, it actually just sits on. You can see that the previous owner did break a little bit of it off, but when it sits in here, that part there holds it perfectly. So that actually mounts it nice and flush. Perfect OEM fitting as well, so it just sits up high. Um, I don't have the right surrounds and everything for it, but I'll try to find some surrounds for it because there is going to be a little bit of a gap around the screen, but 
at least you can see it there it sits nicely also it sits flush so highly suggested so that there's in place now so what I'm going to use is just get some screws just so we can um, mount it on just to hold it on there I don't have the exact screws it's not sitting properly because I don't know what the last person did here but I'm just going to try my best just to mount it in here That should hold good enough. Perfect. Look at that. Fits nice and perfect. Um, once I do start the cut and you'll see it on. But now that is 100% done. So one, the cluster, we failed that one. So that one, um, unfortunately, that was a bust. Two, we did get the brackets mounted. So that does hold the head unit up nice and perfect. Um, it is 100% stiff as well. So if we are driving like normal civilians, it won't come flying out at me or it won't fall back in. Uh, so that's properly mounted. It's basically sitting there nice and perfect. So far we are one for one. So let's see if this one here is going to be a make or break for us today. Um, fingers crossed that this one doesn't work because I want to make sure at least two of the things work. The cluster, we can live with that. But the wipe is I cannot walk around with a 10 amp trying to plug it in and out every single time it rains. Because that is ghetto. That is just ghetto. That's, that's crazy. I'm not doing that. Um, but let's try that out now. We'll take the, um, the wiper stalk off. We'll try it out. If it doesn't work, that means that it's most likely the module. If it's not the module, then we're stuffed. I don't know what it is. We'll have to go to, we'll have to, go to a, one of these R33 gurus or something because I give up then. All right, so let's, let's get started on that. All right, so all the screws are already out of this, so you just need to pop it off. So I'm just going to pop this part out. Get out of there. So now that's out of the way, then all I have to do is just take out two screws, one up here, one down here, and then we can change the stalks over, see if it works first. So all we'll do is we'll change over the wiper stalk. If that doesn't work, then we'll change the module over, try with that wiper stalk. If that doesn't work, then we'll swap it around, swap that one around. Y you know what I mean. Basically, I'll keep trying to try every single combination in the book until we hopefully get this thing to work. If it works, uh, if it works first go, happy days, but if it doesn't, then it's looking quiet for us, alright? So let's try that out. We'll swap every single one again. Just as simple as just over here. Just push that in. Don't unplug. And then this one over here will push that in. Alright, so that's out now. And then this one that I purchased not too long ago. So we're going to plug this one in and see if that one works. If that doesn't work, then we'll try plan B and go with the module. Uh, what I will also do is just quickly start the car just to make sure the battery doesn't die like before. I've already learnt my lesson this morning. That's fuel primed up. Right, so battery's still good. Car started, the head unit is now on. Look at that. Can't wait till everything's back on so that we can see how nice and flush it all fits. But for now, we'll just leave that on just so we can get the battery charged up. Let's just plug this one straight in. The um, 10 amp isn't in at the moment, so we'll just plug this straight in. the back one going off all right moment of truth guys i'm about to plug this um 10 amp in let's see if the wipers are fixed or if it still does this nonsense so let's plug it in see how we go please please oh no that's not looking good hang on no <laughs> So that's one. The wiper stalk hasn't done anything. Oh, I'm a bit nervous. I'm a bit nervous. Now we're gonna try the module, see if the module works because at this stage now I have no more faith anymore. I feel like we're gonna be driving around for 10 amp, plugging it in and out every single time, but let, let's give it a go. Ah, bummer. Alright guys, so here we are. So one more attempt guys. Oh, get rusty here, but so if you don't know what it is, so this over here is the wiper module box. Uh, so this one's the one that actually programs everything on the wiper. So right now it's just going off. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll just take this one out. Once you unplug that, the wipers will automatically stop. So just to get an idea, if I just play with this one here, 
but unplug it, plug it, unplug it. It just straight away stops the wiper, so that's the module. Uh, so all we'll do is we'll take this one out, and we'll try it with this one over here. Moment of truth. <laughs> Far out! It's still doing it. God, I don't know. Let me let me check if I've actually turned the wiper off the side. It's still. The highest setting is still going. Ah! It's quiet, guys. It's quiet. That's crazy. It sucks, man. But hey, we ain't we didn't pass today. Maybe it's just a part. It's not that good. Maybe we can't get another one, but it's it's not working. Ah! What a fail! All right, guys. So we lacked, and we lacked badly. So that's now two bad and one good. We do actually have one more actually, so we do actually still have the boost gauge. So we're gonna change that over to the newer one and see if that actually works. But so far we've lost two, one, one. Let's see if we can even it out guys. Let's try it, put this all back together and then we'll try the boost gauge. So, and from here, we'll just unplug that. And over here as well, just for the boost taps. It. Look at that, it's got, it's got like tape on it, just so they can sit properly. Let's get it, let's ratchet. Let me take this out. Let's twist that off. All the way out. That's off. So they have the same size, so I should be able to still use the same mount over here. So I have to change it all around. So that is now sitting in place. It's held on nice and tight as well. So there it is, sitting nicely in place. All right, so let's close it up so we can do the moment of truth. So where's my key? It's over here. Moment of truth, guys. Let's see how it, if it's on and see if it works. Alright, so that one was successful, guys. So that one does work, and we can actually change the colors as well. So you can change the theme colors depending on which one you want. But hey, look. so we've gone two for two. So today wasn't a complete waste of time. Uh, there's the main big issue I want to fix was not fixed. Uh, so I need to look into that one before we start actually driving the road and all because it could start raining it It could start raining at any single time uh, But hey, at least that's now fixed the head units now fixed um, The cluster is questionable. It's very um, Yeah, that, that, that's just crazy I don't know why it does all that stuff in all these sorts of cars and the wiper module and all that sort of things I might have to just keep on sourcing other ones until one of them eventually works, but at least I'm happy for today Half of our things worked, half of them didn't. Um, it is what it is, guys. But at least that's all on. Um, but yeah, make sure you guys make sure you guys all like and subscribe to these videos because I will be uploading more and more. Uh, we are trying to push for every single Sunday. I've said it a couple of times now, but we're trying to push for every Sunday. So if you guys do have your bell icon on, you will straight away get a notification every Sunday night. So, so yeah, just make sure you guys stay stay tuned. We will be active and much more videos to come. We are actually, I know you guys haven't seen the Mazda 3 for a while, but we are hoping to have that on the road pretty soon. Um, so hopefully the Mazda is on the road so we can have a second car here and we can start smashing out a bit more content with both vehicles. So make sure you guys comment below as well. Let me know which one you guys like a bit more. Which content do you like? Do you guys like seeing the R33 more? Do you like seeing the Mazda 3 more? And we'll try and feature that car a little bit more for you guys. Um, I'm always one of those guys that want to do whatever the fans want. So just let me know which one you want to see more of and we'll make it happen. So thank you guys for watching once again, and we'll see you guys in the next one, all right? Peace out.